Hey, hi there, you guys, Virgo. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. I really want to thank you guys, Virgo, for the support of my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Weight deck. One card from the Lover's Oracle, and one teabag fortune message. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Here's that Eight of Cups again. It's been coming out a lot in the last readings. Water energy. Saturn in Pisces. It's that emotional turning point. It's what once you once found satisfaction with, there is no longer. There is a chasm in the cups representing that something is miss missing. And you're turning your back on what once made you happy and heading towards higher ground. It can be travel. It's going on to new concerns. It's losing all hope in a past relationship and walking away from it. It was an emotional situation that drained you and it blocked your flow. It could be ending a relationship or quitting a job. It's leaving the past behind. But there is a warning to this card about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal, the cups. There's a world of opportunity ahead, so listen to your intuition. Use your confidence and commitment. It is a departure time. Time to leave. But after contemplating your options, and then you go after what you want, and then that makes you the happiest. You'll need to go with the flow. Bless it and move on. Take a long walk and give your mind a rest. You're seeking progress but going into isolation. There is an evolution and a surrender. This is a pilgrimage and withdrawing and contemplating. And you have strength to overcome challenges. And you can achieve your highest potential. You know what you want and you won't settle for less. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Virgo. Number 20 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Weight deck, Judgment. This could be a Scorpio. Scorpio could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is rebirth and resurrection. It is a decision card. It has some roots in the past. It has fast and long-term effects. It's hearing a call. It's that aha moment. It's answering a call that ushers in a new era. It's a call to action. Decision-making. This is something that is in the past that is amplified. And it leads to a new beginning. This is someone that may want to come back. It's a resurrection. Now in this position, these energies are restricted. They're stifled. They're a challenge. They can be blocked or opposed. It still may be something that you want yet. This can represent frustrating delays or postponements some kind of separation. This is the need to cope with life's changes. It can be controlled by outside influence, false friends. They may be misleading you, or you could be believing in, in people that are misleading you and distrusting those that can actually help. It's thinking about making changes which are being signaled by inner callings. 
and you're not sure how to handle what is happening. It can be a return of what was suppressed. This can also be, in this position, intoxication. Someone being naive. It can be fears or desires that come up again and again because they've neither been fulfilled or resolved. And it can be someone that fights against changes. And there's that need inside to change, but it's ignored by hanging on to the old life with safe patterns. And this person thinks of objections, but they are just excuses. Don't kill the messenger. Can also represent someone that has failed to find happiness. It can be a separation or divorce. It's being stuck in the past and going round and round in a circle with the same results. The Eight of Cups with the Judgment card is entry into a better life. It's leaving behind the past to a new major awakening. It's walking away and reflecting. Here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you are consciously aware of, Virgo. The Three of Wands, fire energy. This is Sun in Aries. This is looking out at your horizons. It's waiting for your ships to come in, expecting. The Three of Wands is also always the querent, the person that is the questioner. This is about something that's already been set into motion and being in a holding pattern, waiting, looking forward, being hopeful. It's planning and strategizing, acting on intentions, exercising your creative powers. It's a realization of hope and waiting with anticipation. Could even be planning travel, or someone may be at a distance or being distant. There's more opportunities coming. You can hear my little puppy, honey baby, playing in the background. Your fourth card, it's a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Virgo, here we have some of your energy, Earth energy, the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who is focused. They're fascinated. They have some interest. This can be a communication or an offer of stability. It takes time, but it's worth the wait. They're focused on that unmanifested Ace of Pentacles. This can be a well-thought-out message and you've had to wait for its arrival. This is someone focused on the details. They're looking at the details. This can be an unexpected new start. It's a trigger point. It's the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. They could also be a student. They have respect for learning, and they're goal-oriented. They're moving slowly. They're absorbed. They're being practical and cautious. This could be a new job or a project, a new investment, new studies. Or someone could be reaching out, and maybe it's with an apology. The Eight of Cups. Did I do the Eight of Cups with the Three of Wands? I don't remember. I'm going to tell you the Eight of Cups with the Three of Wands. It's time for an adventure. It's going freelance or even avoiding plans. It's expecting to make a move towards wish fulfillment, and there could be a change of plans. And the Eight of Cups with the Page of Pentacles is moving towards a new practical endeavor. It could be giving it one more try, and it's walking away using focus and diligence. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something 
That's my puppy making those scratchy noises. This is something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of it. The Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, another sun. This is sun in Virgo. You. This is you, steadily working, getting things done. This is working on practical things in your environment and working and learning as you work on these things, your trade or profession, or maybe you're even repairing things. It can also represent employment to come or commission coming in. It's steadily working and getting closer to your goal, being absorbed, concentrating. Maybe you're not feeling anything except work, and there's a big payout if you finish. You could be studying. It's integrating old skills into a new form or adding new skills. And your sureness of purpose guarantees success. And your craftsmanship will be rewarded. This is a talent card aligned with the energy of the eight, representing you can turn a skill into a profession or even earn money from that skill. The Eight of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles is an abandoning a course or, or a path without completing it. It's not staying long in new employment. It can be disillusionment and finding something better to dedicate yourself to that you're passionate about. Two eights in a reading represent new knowledge. Interesting. The Judgment card with the Three of Wands. This is seeing results that are for your better good. It can be a resurrection of a plan. This can also be someone writing, journaling, changing the world by their journalism. Judgment with the Page of Pentacles is good news concerning money on the way. This can be a message to pay attention to, especially if it comes in your dreams. So if you have a dream that you remember really well, it's a message. This has great potential. This is someone, they stand out. Judgment with the Eight of Pentacles is awakening your desire to dedication. It's something you see differently, and it's fighting the good fight. It could be against bad habits. It can also represent a supervisor. The Three of Wands with the Page of Pentacles is foresight and commitment to your plans. It's waiting and being in a holding pattern. It's interest and curiosity and setting practical goals. Three of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles is doing what you love. It's focusing on details to ensure that your ships will come in. Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. This can represent a relationship that can indicate obsessive overthinking and it is heavily one-sided it's investing more time into study this can represent an apprentice that works hard they have ambition and high standards here's your lover's oracle card by tony carmine Solerino. it's a man with angel wings don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. Well, there's that judgment card. For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Here's your tea bag fortune message. The essence of life is to communicate love. The essence of life is to communicate love. Well, we should all remember that. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.